Are you there, Sophie? I can't see you yet. Have to speak. Wait, wait. Hi. There. Good morning. Hi. 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 Good, good morning for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. is school there too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 No snow this morning, but it's cold. There's uh, frost on all the cars. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's sunny, but it's cold. Okay. I'm getting my breakfast, so I'm going to sit down and in front, at the table here in a second. Okay, I'm seated. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, great. Sorry, I couldn't, uh, actually I didn't remember after uh, after a long day, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't think, I didn't think we were going to talk till this morning at 9.30 because your you're so far ahead of me that I didn't figure we were meeting till this morning. So as far as I'm concerned, we didn't miss anything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so relax. Yeah. We're all on. We're all on perfect timing. Okay, okay. So that I was surprised that you also didn't ping me. You didn't tell me anything, and suddenly I realized that I already missed a day. So no, you, you thought you missed it. I. No kidding. I had it written down. First, I had it two days before, and then I had it in Friday and Saturday, which is today and tomorrow, thinking that you're Thursday and Friday. So I'm telling you, the 10 and a half hour difference plays with my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I uh, hear we. Yeah. No big. Yeah, yeah. So recently, uh, I my work has become multifold you know there are uh, 37 aspect uh, more than 37 division to my work profile you know so wow wow every, everything going at the same time uh, you know what happens so and and uh, actually i can do that also if my boss uh, the, the person the senior person who he, who i'm working with also is fast mm. enough he actually puts things down for a for say three four hours or two three days then by that time i forget so yeah. and when i remember then uh, many things haven't happened so that puts a lot of tension on my head how to track this and also push <coughs> push this person to take quick action and yeah uh, and the and the uh, super boss he He's a new person, uh, completely. Mm -hmm. So he only can tell me. He cannot tell this uh, person who is there in the organization for a long time. You know, mm -hmm. he says you have been, you people have been uh, uh, starting <coughs> so many things, but you are not uh, finishing anything. So I cannot say that this person in between is uh, has a different work habit. So. That is what is creating the trouble. Yeah. Do you do you think that's true? What he said about starting and not finishing a lot of stuff. Do you think that's that, true? Yeah, yeah. That is oh. what I am seeing also. Because you okay. know, everything uh, gets stalled and everything has its own time. You know. So yeah, if you are not finishing, uh, what suppose what is supposed to be finished by say yesterday, then it, we are already late by a day. Yeah. By that yeah. time, the other person might have, um, like the super was, might have thought many things. And um, mm -hmm. I have been observing as he told something to be done uh, to this person who is senior to me. Mm -hmm. And he did something else. Uh, he didn't do the mm -hmm. exact thing that was required. So, mm -hmm. I saw <laughs> I saw the super boss doing it himself. Uh, 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 that means that work was supposed to be done by us too. 
because yeah. there is a division uh, to which both of us belong which means he ha he brings a third perspective and there can be a lot of communication gap and mm -hmm. uh, um, like nobody remembers where was the mistake you know everybody, yeah. everybody feels uh, that it is uh, convenient to put the blame on somebody rather yeah. than taking responsibility and finish it off anyways even if we are delayed then also we can take action you know and then it feels like you're always starting over yeah when, so I, you know yeah yeah most of the time that is what i am doing let us start over uh, that mm -hmm. was that okay that was uh, that was that and it was mm -hmm. at that level so let us uh, start it again and uh, whatever was uh, like say there are so many things i'm slowly very slowly i'm taking to myself even if i write a letter suppose i write a letter and you write a letter both will be very different right it yeah. will be like according to our own styles sure so, but this person doesn't understand he is younger like in ex in experience also because he mm. is there for uh, from the beginning of this organization that is why he is senior he knows what is to be done but yeah he is very very slow i acknowledge that he knows how things to be done but writing a letter is not he is going to dictate me so he always thinks that uh, he should see whatever i am even if it is yeah. an email <laughs> also you know so, does he know he, does he know he he realizes he operates more slowly than you. Uh, he um, uh, how he justifies this? He says it has to be perfect, according to oh. him. And uh, and I uh, try to explain to him that there is nothing called perfect in this whole world because uh, <laughs> whatever perfect for you might not be yeah. perfect for somebody. So anyways, you will get questions from the other yeah. person. So, just uh, send whatever is available. So, sometimes so happens that the one, uh, two, I, I wrote about 10 proposals this year. What? And only two went, you know. So, it it is that frustrating at times. Yeah. So yeah. He, uh, like we work with the central bank, RBI we call that, and then... We work with two development banks. Uh, everybody is uh, waiting to support us. Only mm -hmm. if we write something, we give a proposal for this or that, then only they can help us, right? So if for that also you are waiting for so, so much of time, so long, then yeah. how can they help? So right. I have a go on. Stuff. they go on to other things yeah yeah so i i also tried telling him lately that for whatever we do for a year let us put in a proposal one proposal so that we don't have to be distracted over small small proposals not 10 but all 10 in one so mm -hmm. that we just put uh, our effort into one and then he becomes accountable also that unless this proposal goes <laughs> Uh, I bet that ears. I bet that made his ears perk up. Yeah, <laughs> and he got to people too. Uh, so he he understands that he is getting a bit late, and everybody becomes impatient. And I have seen that everybody comes to me and says, "Why he does that? Why?" You... So it is your job to tell him. It is not my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you'll be the go-between for everything if you <laughs> make them talk to him directly. Yeah. Oh boy, I I I get the picture. I get the picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're uh, you're getting to be uh. You're getting to set boundaries and get wiser with how you want to handle that, so you're not always in the hot seat. Yeah, yeah. So I have to learn a lot uh, how to handle this uh, kind of people. And he has, uh, uh, obviously, he has some experiences which uh, which uh, actually stops him from taking some action 
with mm -hmm. some kind of people. So it is like uh, we handle the microfinance institutions, you know, that is what I had told you. Mm -hmm. There are 200 uh, organizations who are our members. So 200 organizations means so many people. And yeah. everybody is very different from each other. And there will be a lot of uh, undercurrents when they deal with. Yeah. So, so uh, but nobody can help that, right? It has to be yeah. there. It will be there. Are, so, are these all, are all these uh, 200 in India or are they out of, out of your country? You know, in, <coughs> sorry, in India only. They're, they're all in India. Okay. But also we have started uh, speaking to the similar organizations in uh, in the South East Asia also, mm. uh, other countries also uh, towards mm. the East of India, like okay. Philippines, uh, Myanmar, all mm -hmm. these countries, Indonesia, Cambodia, yeah. Well, yeah. So though that is additional work, and uh, you know, things get still slower <laughs> because you yeah. <laughs> You get 365 days in a year. And um, uh, as I told you, 37 aspects to look at. So you get hardly 10 days for each. Uh, mm -hmm. and so it, it is like that only. <laughs> are you working? Are you working more than 40 hours a week? Is your standard work week 40 hours a week or do you regularly work more than that? No, not more than five weeks, uh, five days a week, which means okay. 40 hours only. I don't work okay. more than that, but uh, okay. I keep thinking about that uh, for more than 40 hours. You know? See, whatever I'm telling you is not work. It is about the worry and uh, how to handle and all that right so i'm thinking yeah. so uh, <laughs> yeah it's like masterminding stuff right <laughs> yeah yeah so uh this sometimes uh, actually puts other things uh, out of the plate um, like speaking to you <clears throat> yeah i would have definitely you know pinged you if i would have remembered yesterday so mm -hmm. That was a miss, and this is this is something very rare in my case because, uh, given that uh, the work it, it was my my own baby only uh, producing this book and everything because I I know I can do um, justice to your story because I am telling it and uh, why I am doing this is. Because uh, no, I I have I I have learned so many things from you. <coughs> I can I can share so many things with you. It's a friendship, and uh -huh. uh, not many people get this kind of uh, no friendship. Uh, not seeing each have not knowing each other from the beginning, just only four and a half years, and still we are very very <coughs> close knit kind of uh, friendship we have so yeah this ha this has something uh, no this has some bearing in my life i don't know about your life but i have learned so many things and this can also bring in uh, a new perspective and new power also within absolutely yeah. absolutely so yeah uh, i, want I can you and I don't get to talk all the time, but when we do, it's 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 an opportunity to swap ideas and perspectives and catch up and uh, from a from a very mature but yet casual and heart centered place. So it's it's an important thing. Yeah, it's an important thing for me. Um, Lots has gone on for you since we talked last, and lots has gone on for me. Um, I continue to learn things from the kids, from Rebecca and Rafe, who have both had birthdays since I talked with you. So they're nine and 11. Um, 
I've had an opportunity to grow through them. I've had an opportunity to grow through uh, an art, uh, painting those two swans that I put in an antique shop in the last weekend, and, and constantly through living with Austin. So, yeah. And then we get to, yeah. Oh, and one very useful thing that I did, I ordered a book on Mohammed because I knew nothing about he Mohammed as a prophet. I am amazed. I am amazed at who he was and how he started. And, and, uh, it was just a missing piece in the big picture of knowing things, of knowing a little bit about a lot of spiritualities and a lot of religions. And lo and behold, I just am about to finish the book. And there was a guy online. There's a man named Alex Ferrari who has a program, podcast program called Next Level Souls. And in the last two days, there were two people who were raised Muslims who have found Jesus. And uh, I was floored, totally agape, to listen to their story about, you know, at seven years old, being taught to learn how to sh shoot guns and all that kind of stuff. It just was amazing. It was just amazing. And it was like, how synchronistic. Um, so that's that's the kind of stuff in the last couple of days that's been going on for me. You know, nothing earth shattering, but for sure learning, you know, some like, wow. wow. And, you know, we're in the middle of the Christmas season here and all of the churches, you know, all they're seeing is this big and this much of that this big is all about church. So there's a big Methodist church. There's a big Baptist church. There's a big Pentecostal church and and they're all tr they all go to one another uh, for like an Advent service, and they all the ministers show up at the other church, and the same people you know you see the same people that always show up, and I'm telling you, the so much of what everybody is saying is overlapping. Finally, people are starting to see that we're just one. Regardless of what building we're in, they're finally saying things that if they if they keep listening to themselves, they're going to get that we really all one. We we really are all one. Yeah. So I mean, that's what a Christmas present, right? Yeah. 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 So you know, if, if everybody realizes what they're seeing then of course the idea is just one and yeah. it is uh, in uh, various forms various interpretation but when they go deep is just one uh, you got it yeah you got yeah. it uh -huh. it's pretty cool I, I just got the willies on that because for so long um th this town may be unusual in that we support one another and I, I heard a month or so ago that it was the Baptist church because the, the city was, this town was formed by a, an old pioneer Baptist minister and his wife. And I heard that years and years after that, it was the Baptist church that went to the Methodist pastor and the Presbyterian pastor and said, basically, you know, come on over and, and let's get all of this started and so I think it's kind of like in the city's DNA you know we don't it's not like we don't have our problems here we do um, and, and uh, but people work together here a lot which is a good thing yeah. Yeah. yeah I used to say I used to say we have 1200 people we don't have that many more we don't have I don't think we even have a thousand people in here in our town these days we've we've lost you know people have died and people have left and uh so yeah i think we're well below 1200 but whatever whatever we've got is what we've got so 
I got to ask you this. Is there still an African crusade group? Are you still active with that group? There, I have I have taken one website for them, and uh, I have asked Ayantu to to post in there. But uh, she posts in Facebook, but she says the website doesn't open. Uh, if a Facebook page opens, then the website will definitely open. <laughs> but uh, she is not putting anything out there. Uh, yeah. So because I. I haven't gotten anything in a long, long time. Yeah. So she is posting a lot in the Facebook page. So if okay. she is posting out there, then nobody knows about what is that. Uh, beyond an orphanage or something, there has to be some description also. So mm -hmm. if, if she puts in a proper, you know, there has to be a context about what we are doing and what she is posting. Yeah. So I I asked her to do it. Might be she is not able to understand what I am saying. Um, mm -hmm. But unless there is a context, uh, what use is a website? Just not uh, pictures will not do, right? So uh, me and the person who handles my website, who is who is handling all the websites, that person, mm -hmm. I, I brought him also to... Oh. Give one training to Ayantu so that she can put uh, some initial things she can put. All the certificates mm. and who she wants to be in that group. And uh, <coughs> not many people she would like or I don't know what she likes. So I have given her the full freedom of putting whoever she wants to. And okay. then... Uh, then build that like uh, there is a about us page and then there is a what we do kind of page so all these two have to be filled up by them and if yeah. if they are not able to do then they need to seek help uh, that these this is our substance you can put yeah, yeah. that also is not coming so that fellow, my friend, he offered his service for a month. I can do that for you. Just forward what you want to put in there. Mm -hmm. Some some mm -hmm. decisions to be taken. Suppose he him uh, yeah. Ayantu and uh, the other person, no Margeta, who is who are handling this uh, orphanage. Both of them yeah. themselves in there. That is also fine. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to say. But it is mm -hmm. hard, hard decision to put. Because, you know, these days, India Indian government is very finicky about uh, any association with foreign countries. You know? Oh. At okay. some, uh, some uh, pretext or other, they will ask a thousand questions. They can do anything. They, they are doing mm. many things which, which is very crazy. Mm. Uh, so, <coughs> this person, this my friend's organization actually uh, was completely finished just in a month, matter of month, just one month and the organization completely finished because they have stopped the grant coming to their organization, you know. Oh, okay. So, it, it is like that and you don't get any answer to your queries. This is like dictatorship, you know. <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah I hear you I hear you okay I was just curious every now and then I get every now and then I'll get a message messenger message from Ayan too and every now and then I'll see something on Pat Good Patri Patricia Patrice Good but but that's all I get and I just figure timing is everything you know if if some big move happens, I'll find out about it. So I just, I'm content. I figured you did your thing and now it's in their lap. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Cool. Yeah. So the other person is uh, Dr. Anita, who is from US also. You right. introduced to her. She yeah. is the main person who brought us all together. So she can influence her. But she doesn't yeah. have like she she is doing her own thing. I understand. Yeah. 
So mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now I'm clueless. Uh, my friend says it's a huge risk us being involved out here. If somebody asks, uh, asks us, we don't have anything to do, still we'll be in trouble because the website we have taken. And if somebody asks me why you have taken, I I can say that it is just to help them and it is it is just not sufficient. So right. I'll be getting you're, into unnecessary trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You can say you're a volunteer consultant or something like that without getting in up to here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So he okay. is um, he is very Sounds good. Uh, he is very uh very scared, my friend, because his own organization where he was mm -hmm. working, it is gone now. It's a very oh. reputed organization. Mm. Uh, and uh, number one uh, amongst the uh, top 10 inst institutions where he was working. And mm. it, is, it is no more. Just in a month, it is gone. So oh. the government is such in, I don't know, it's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he he tries to walk a line, a fine line between balancing what he can do for others without endangering his own job or career or life or, you know. Even even mine. Uh, because, yeah. Because uh, I have created that one. <laughs> I also get into trouble. I may. So that is what he was saying because there mm -hmm. there is no under no MOU kind of thing. Then mm -hmm. and this she is not uh, cooperating. Then we may get into trouble. That is what. Yeah. So we we will wait for one year and then uh, we may close that website or whatever. They yeah. Are. Well, just watch the red flags that go up if you. You know, if your intuition says not a good move, just pay attention. I know you do. That's kind of what. Yeah. Cool. So, so let us get started with your story, Sophie. So I, yeah. uh, I know that uh, you must have thought a lot about your childhood uh, things, <laughs> and you must have seen the synchronicity that you always talk about. In yeah. Episode. So I am interested in bringing out that aspect of your life into the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because all okay. the time, all the time I, I tell people that everything, whatever you think, just right now you were also saying that you were reading that book on prophet, that prophet and Something else happens somewhere and you can see the connection, right? And <clears throat> it is not easy for people to see the connection. That is why all the trouble. And mm. <clears throat> so, yeah. so I think I think part of it, uh, I have always been curious, and I think that you are also. And when you're when you're curious and just not complacent about how life shows up around you, you open yourself up for all of those synchronicities to happen. Uh, and I know I've told you this before, when I finally learned and really took in that the world was not out to get me and it wasn't personal, uh, you know, that changed, that took my life up a notch. And and uh, those are the kinds of things that are so ingrained in me now that when I'm not doing that, when I'm taking stuff personal, it's like right there in front of my face in, in two minutes. You know, it's like you're the common denominator here, Sophie. So you can pout about this or you can regroup and, you know, and come from a higher vibration with all of this. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, there's 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 so many uh, there's so many things uh, through the years that have been synch you know synchronistic. It's like, geez, where do I start? Uh, but um, this have you uh, have you heard of Hemisync? The Hemisync uh, 
synchronizing to the two parts of your brain through mute through sound yeah. well yeah so this morning I sat with um, some of those half hour sessions on from my phone I had a had a very bad mess in my head congestion mess in my head and a and a bad knee <clears throat> and um after doing three of those this morning both are much better both of them are much better so um and somebody just some it was another synchronistic thing someone just recently was talking about it and i thought i know about that i've known about it for years i just haven't made the effort to do anything with it and I got a big Christmas cantata coming up Sunday that I want to I want to be able to walk down the aisle with my partner and my robe on. And I want to be able to sing after practicing since October. So it was time. It was time to kick it in gear. <laughs> so uh, I. Um, okay, just just, uh, just one thing. If yeah. Wait a minute. All of what you just said didn't come through very well. Say that again, Nalima. Uh, if, if, the, if you are logged out of Zoom, then please come in again. Yeah. Because my if, Zoom has some problem. It goes out time to time. That is why. Okay. So if that happens, I should try to reach you again through Zoom? The same, same same link. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, where do you where do you want me to start? Do you want me to just give you anecdotes that fly Anything. into my head? Anything. I mean, I know that humongous list because I just thought you're going crazy, but you don't need all that information. No, I need every information that comes through your mind right now. Okay. Download anything and everything. Yeah. I think. Uh, what is what is in my what's prevalent in my head right now is the fact that I had signed up because it's related to everything else. I signed up in September with a woman named Mary Morrissey, who was a unity minister for a long time. She's a businesswoman and she has this big um, uh entity online uh, several of her grown children work with her they uh, so she she wants you to identify what you really want what you really love in your life and what you want and uh, they work with four areas relationship vocation health and money and freedom time and money freedom and the program was the most expensive uh, amount of money that I would have ever invested in myself and you pay it you can pay it all at once of course or you can do it in increments and so I maxed out all the credit cards that I had anything left on to be able to sign up to do this and seven thousand dollars into this program I had to step back and say okay I have no idea where the the next month's payment is coming from because I have no more room on my cards. What I had learned was a, a confirmation of things that we are that I already knew. But she sent a, and she sent us this wonderful book group of like ten books, old uh, from. But most of the people have been dead for a long time. But they all said the same thing: you you imagine what you want, you you get clear on exactly what you want and then you get the momentum started and then you just keep on keeping on right and uh i said you know what this is a, a worthwhile program i like who she was but i found myself just paying additional money for more stories and for the fact that somewhere next march in march she takes all of us to um the Arizona desert and the whole week is free. Well, it's not free. And it's all in this big hunk of money that you are going to pay over a year. And so I set a boundary for myself and I said, you know, thank you. Thank you for taking me this far. 
thank you for this wonderful library that I kept a couple of books and I put the rest of them in the senior center here, hoping that somebody else will pick them up. And all of those, uh, so what I said that I wanted first was this, to build this house, right? I've always wanted this house where I said Villa Joy would be. Well, a girlfriend of mine here is building a house and I am telling you, She's living in this hut. The hut got built first. She's going to raise bees and worm castings. So she's been living in this hut. And I'm telling you, every day she teaches us something about uh, uh, how to work with a contractor or how to be with a disappointment or how to know, oh, the doors came in and they're wrong. So thank goodness she talked me out of that one, right? So that's, so my thought about, I need another house that, that's gone because being here with Austin in, in this place is perfect. It's, I mean, in the house is needs always needs maintenance, but it's really cool. It's just a good thing. And, and like last night, uh, there were some things that happened with him, not with him, but there was a situation that I could have blown into out. I could have blown out of proportion and I just keep coming back to, what is it that's really, what is it that, this isn't about him, Sophie, what is it about you? And the same thing with the kids. It's all about control and thinking and, and saying to myself, am I being a good enough mother? Am I being a good enough grandmother? You know, and recognizing, like you and I have talked about, everybody has their own contract. And they don't even know their own contract. So how could I know their own contract? How could I know what's the best for them when we don't even remember, you know, our own our own stuff? So, um, so recognizing that my life is, you know, I really have everything I want, you know. It was and 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 paying that money to get from there to here, from September to here. Was well, was well worth it because I figured out a lot about stuff that I don't want, that I don't need, that I could still get rid of. And that old fight or flight thing, I'm much better every time something like this comes up. I'm much better with, with communicating before I throw in the towel. Because yeah. it used to be, it used to be so easy to throw it in and go, I'm out of here. And then you have to learn the lesson somewhere else, right? So that's a lot about, about what's been going on. And so I've said to myself, I am paid in full with this course because this course is only going from September till when I said I'm done and I'm done. And so that, that was a big monkey off my back to wow. think, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna ruin my Christmas holidays uh, because of shoulds and coulds and would ofs and all that stuff. Right. Oh, and I have a new, I have a new, this is another, this is, this dovetails into it too. I have a new great grandson who is born to my, my grandson in Indiana. And he and the, and the woman who he is in a relationship with have only known themselves about a year. They weren't planning on having a baby, but the baby was planning on coming through, right? So little Oliver Lee is about a week and a half old now, almost two weeks old. He was a, a week late and uh, they're not sure. They're just letting this all unfold because they don't know for sure whether they're going to raise him together. They don't know if they're going to live together. There's so many uncertainties in their life um, other than they know they have this baby and Nathan got a month off of work to have a paternity leave, which is way cool. So the issue is those of us oldsters who are going, well, when are we going to see the baby and where's he going to be for Christmas and where's he going to be for New Year's, you know, and I had to step back and because I was going to go to Indianapolis uh, a month or so after he's born. And I thought, you know, wait longer. Just give him more time. The kid's not going anywhere. 